Welcome back to Super Sentai Review, episode number 351. We are now officially on. Yeah, now I know for it's been like about a month since I basically did this. Well, that's because basically of watching Comrade 4Z. That's the only reason for it, and watching the first few episodes of Agato. But, okay, so this one we're discussing the final Super Sentai series left to review that was released in the 2000s. That being... Maho Sentai Magi Ranger. Yep. That is the name of this particular series. It is actually like one episode shorter than Deca Ranger. This one is roughly 49 episodes. Because Deca Ranger is 50. Unknown the reason why it is like this. It could be due to low ratings. I have honestly no idea. So, in case you're curious, though, the sense I came after this one, which was just Bo Kenger, I think this one was like 50 episodes. Yeah, this extra one, this was 49. Yeah, Bo Kenger was 49. Geki Ranger is 49. Goanger is 50, which made the first one since Deca Ranger being 50. Sure, Kenger is 49. I believe Go Sager and Go Kaiger are both 50 episodes apiece. Well, actually, Go Kaiger is 51, but. So, how the series is going to work is that when I finish reviewing this series, before I move on to where my next entire is going to be. Excuse me, it's going to be reviewing a uh, cross movie. A good amount of episodes of Gokaiger. Mostly two episodes. And I'll we'll discuss some episodes toward the finale. And then discuss the, the two 10 uh, year late movies for Hurricane and Decca Ranger. And I move on to my next, and I'll do whatever thing next for Sentai. That's how it's, kind of, it's going to work for this one. What episode might my, my break for this one? It'll be episode 34. That's why I decided because it's the end of the second story arc. So, in the case of these... Well, we're discussing here the first two episodes of this series. Now, I should point out, though, this is the third Sentai team to where the, all the members were siblings. But unlike the last... Unlike the, the, the previous one, which had one girl as part of siblings, this one has two. First one since five men. Yes. Yeah, this is the third one overall. And the next time we have Sibling Rangers would actually be in Geki Ranger, believe it or not. Except only two to related, not all five. You're probably thinking, is like any other Sentai Rangers, which are siblings? Like the ones I know of? Like, did it happen in Bokenger? Nope. Well, I know it happened in Geki Ranger. Did it happen in. Goanger, no. Sharkanger, nope. No, they actually had it where we had a sibling of a ranger become a ranger, but not like the whole team related to each other. Go Sager, yeah, uh, yes, they actually did have a couple rangers related to each other. Brother and sister duo, but it's only two, not the whole team. Definitely Echo Kaiger. And not go bosses. You say I would say kind of in a way that blue, uh, basically Buster Blue, Buster Yellow, basically kind of siblings, because like Yellow look, look, looks the blue a lot like a big brother. That's kind of the closest we had the siblings that one, but they're not blood related. But not many Rangers are blood related. I'd say overall like two since this one wrapped up. But yeah, this probably is the last one. Now, I'm not sure about the Sentai that aired uh, after Go Busters. I'm not sure because I have multiple these. I, I can't say this for sure. But this might have been the last ever Sentai where we have a five-person team and also it is all siblings. Excuse me. And like in the case of Ranger, it does start with five. 
though it does put something in common with it with Decorager. The fact that Red doesn't come in at first and it comes a little later on. Yes, so we start off with now the, this is the Oaksa family. May have uh, basically the mother. The father is missing. Now this actually is something they borrowed from GoGo Five, except in that one it was the the father disappeared and the mother disappeared too, and the siblings on their own, and eventually the father came back in the picture. This one, mother's always picture the father dis uh, supposedly died. So in order, basically, how the siblings basically are birth, uh, basically, Magic Green is the eldest ranger, is Yellow's brother. I'd say second oldest. Uh, well, I saw the second oldest is Yellow, who is also played with the same actor who played Buster Gold in Go Buster. Yes. Yeah, he was the first time for he was the first it was the first time in a long time that we actually had a previous ranger come back to play to a completely different ranger. This doesn't happen very often. This was common in let's say the seventies and eighties, but not the case of the day. Now, who is basically like now So so yellow is second son, but he's the fourth child. What is the second child? Is it pink or blue? Excuse me. Hmm. What is the second? Let's see. Well, it's not uh, red. Red is actually the youngest out of all of them. Okay, now that is unique because in the case of Five Man and Go Go Five, the Red Ranger was the eldest brother. This one is the youngest brother, and the eldest brother is Magic Green. I think it's probably Magic Pink. Yeah, I think it's probably Magic Pink. I think it's like green, then it's pink, blue, then yellow. And then finally, Red. Red, at the start of the series, he is 17. Yeah, he's the only one actually in high school in the series. Yep. Yeah, the, the, the character 17 years old. And if you're curious, you're curious, though, how old was the actor? The actor at the time this one aired was... It was Basically, probably about 17 when the production started the show. And this is interesting. So, apparently he's five days younger than his co-star. The way he plays Magi Blue. Interesting. Yeah. Now, of course... People familiar with the Power Rangers equivalent to Mystic to Magic Ranger, that is Mystic Force. People the people describe Mystic Force as oh it's Harry Potter meets Power Rangers. And so that's kinda of like it is here. We're also introduced to a couple of the villains for the series. Not all of them, just a couple of them, plus their grunts. At this point in time, Excuse me, the first bad guy we see here is Victory General Brecken, who in Mystic Force was Mordecai. Yeah. And, well, he is the starting villain. And we also see there's actually one other character that does pop up here at the very beginning. And she is surprisingly here almost the entire series. So she just skips some episodes. Yes, like after like episode like Oh, she actually is here for compared to the she misses like one episode. Let's see. I think it's like Yeah, she only misses one, episode ten. Yeah, and that's Phantom Spy Veronica. Yep. Which are apparently like two women, two young girls combined into one. Uh Veronica is played by Missy Watabi. With the time that when she played this role, she was 39. Yeah, 39, which means she's probably like probably pushing 60. Now, as for the two other women playing her, we have 
Chika Horan, who is, oh my gosh, she's like basically like about five months younger than me, who plays Nan and Mia, played by Tomoki Katamagui, and she is roughly about three years older than me. Yeah. So, I would say, well, basically, based on her age, and again, the fact when this aired, she was probably 20 years old when the thing aired. As for the one who played Nia, she was probably about 17. Yes. It's kind of a weird thing. Where, that we have two characters who kind of merge into one. Yeah, I thought this is kind of weird. But at least his character's around for all the episodes. Think she misses like one. The entire series. As to why she misses one episode, I have no idea. Oh, by the way, uh, her counterpart is uh, Norcly. Yeah. Which, uh, when they had her turn human form in the <laughs> in Mystic Forest of the it's like, Hey, your mom was hot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and the fact that they had this like, oh, let's give her a daughter. Yeah. Yeah, and also the, the cycle itself was cycled for this time as Plasmora. Yes, which is simply the cycle, monster recycled. Yes. Now, did a uh, Bionica, did she have the same role in Mystic Force to here? Yes. Uh, no change for her. Interesting enough. Yes. And we're also introduced to one air character. <laughs> hmm. Excuse me. A mysterious purple knight known as Warzor, who in Mystic Force is ah. So yeah, his kind of Mystic Force is Krog. Yeah. Frog. Yeah. Also, the pirates could borrow something from from Lights Rescue. We're having only one of the siblings related to the mentor of the, of the series. This time being the woman who is known as uh, Magic Mother. Who wears this all white suit. Uh, sadly put, the actress who played the counterpart of Power Ranger, she is Sally since passed away. And the thing about the mother is... Who we imagine your mother? Yeah, she didn't appear very much. Uh, she's played. She was played by Akasuka Watami, who was born in 1969. Yeah, I just saw her in Kamen 4Z. So at the time when this one aired, she's probably about... 30... I see about 35, 34, 35 ish. But yeah, I see pictures. She looks like a very lovely woman. And I'm sure, probably nowadays, let's see, she's probably like. Uh, probably about 50. Probably about 55. I'm sure she takes really good care of herself. And her character's name in Mystic Force is Udana. Yeah, the actress I heard is Sarah has passed away, I believe so. Uh, yeah, she passed away in 2010. Yeah, and she was only like 51. Passed away of a brain tumor. Yeah, so the actress that played Udon on Mystic Force, she passed away roughly just a few years after Mystic Force aired. Okay. Yeah, and also her thing at first is that Yeah, so 
she denies the fact oh there's like we see that we see the siblings all set at the table ready for what look like look like breakfast on Sunday morning and meanwhile though we see Kai that's the red that's the future red ranger just kicking a soccer ball because he's a soccer player I believe in Mystic Force they actually if I remember uh he just basically worked at a shop he was a soccer player he wasn't a teenager either so he actually he actually knocked a balloon out of a girl's hand so he climbed up a building to retrieve it and then use like special like he was just pure luck. He just falls off, hops off an awning, pulls down like a rope, and just lands on a table. Lands on a, uh, lands in a chair. And his mom and all of his siblings show up. The point how reckless he is. Oh, by the way, the mother had denied the fact, oh, this, oh don't be silly. There's no such thing as magic. And she, was, she lied. As for why she lied about magic don't know at this point in time so yeah then the car is walking home and then the troll shows up and she beats it by freezing it so yeah and of course then she gives four out of her five out of five children the bill to become magic ranger and why not red they say oh yeah it's too young because he's reckless I think because he's the baby. Yes, I think because he's the youngest of all of. He is. It's like this is this is her baby. She does not want to lose the youngest child. But then of course they run into. Then of course, uh, Wolzor comes to the surface, and he just kicks a can by accident. Of course, he sees it like he's scared stiff, and the whole thing is all about courage. So then we have uh, the Rangers morph, and they do their special moves. Green forms an axe. Yellow has a bow. I think, uh... uh let's see. Uh, pink? What was pink's weapon? She can disguise like, like a freaking fan. Yes. Blue... Excuse me. Yeah, and of course they've heard of her names like like green is the emerald they've heard of her as wizards. Yeah, wizards as the well, here are Green Mage, but basically wizards like Green Mage. Uh, Red is the Ruby Wizard. Uh, it was quite interesting, and of course, how does Red become how does he become Ranger? Well, at first, basically, his mother doesn't trust him enough to display fear and overcoming fear. It's almost like he become part of the Green Lantern Corps with this. So he expressed fear of seeing Wolzor, and then eventually he proceeds to protect them. And his mother sees that as basically like a good thing, protecting loved ones, and just grants him his own morpher, which is known as the Magi Phone, and they mor he morphs and beats the monsters up. Excuse me. And of course, then we have Wolzer go giant size, merge with a horse to become a centaur. Then of course, basically, their mom comes in to bow him, and then supposedly she dies. And, and yeah, the grieving, but then all of a sudden, basically, that we have another monster about. So, red, green, and pink, I think, uh, blue, go out to fight the monster and they get sucked in. Meanwhile, though, yellow and pink proceed to stay behind. And, of course, he's very mopey, and he just, he's sad to see his mother die, and, of course, he throws his phone at the pitcher, and somehow... This activates like a a little laser beam, whatever. Fires the symbol of the Magic Ranger on the wall, on this wall, and then he and his sister walk through the wall. The pull through with his green hand, what the heck that is? Don't know. Then they get there like, this apparently is going to be the base operations, this room. This magic room, really like magic books, there's candles. 
uh, Spitzmills. And then the mother receipt basically reveals of what the heck is going on. Apparently, their father was a heavenly saint. His name, they don't say what his name is yet. So, he seals up the underworld. Apparently, that the, their people, the heavenly saints, have been at war with this underground empire known as Infestia. That's a bad guy group for the series. So, they may have a secret war with them. And humanity knows nothing about this war at all. Yeah, don't know why. So, then of the course, they're given their magic brooms. Which are these, 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 uh, these mechanical versions of them. Because it's 21st century. Let's turn wood into metal and ride these things like they're flying, mo like flying motorcycles, or almost like the swap bikes from Star Wars. Yeah, and of course they fly them out, and of course that oh, Pink gets the monster to sneeze because he's kind of puts in the digestive system. And of course he sneezes them out, and then of course they get a brand new spell because they won't balance up, and the spell is to basically become well, Dijujin. Well, basically giant zords. Which easily use their and the way that yellow flies in, it's like whenever I see it, it's like it reminds me so much of the Soren Eagle. It's it's reminds me of the Eagle Zord from from Gal Ranger slash Wild Force, and a little bit of the Falcon Zord, which was seen in My Warrior Ranger season two, excuse me, season three slash Kaka Ranger, and of course thanks to their combined teamwork. They'd be, and of course, Green is the tallest with his Taurus one. He's very tall, and of course, they beat the monster and in the episode. And that's pretty much the first two episodes in a nutshell. I am going to basically do at this point just four episodes. Now, there will be the debut with New Ranger soon, but not for quite a while. In case you're curious, still, when a New Ranger. Not episode 19. I'll get to that, don't worry. But yeah, that's pretty much it for particular view. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications, and do not hit the dislike button. Next up, more Magic Ranger. Okay? Next video. Bye.